From the station with the most local news in our West Michigan, Fox 17 News at 6 starts right now. An update in a sextortion case that Fox 17 has been following since March of last year. Two brothers from Nigeria, Samson Agoshi and Samuel Agoshi, in federal court Thursday afternoon as attorneys told a judge what evidence they prepared to present at trial. Our Julie Dunmire was in downtown Grand Rapids in the courtroom. Julie, what happened? Well, it was an arraignment for starters, Michael, but I want to take everybody back in time a little bit. This is a case that first made headlines in March of last year when 17-year-old Jordan DeMay from Marquette took his own life. Uh, he allegedly had fallen victim to an online extortion scheme often referred to as sextortion. In federal court today, two of the three suspects were arraigned on multiple charges that involved sexually exploiting a minor for illicit photos. For those who don't know this backstory, Jordan began talking to an individual on Instagram who he thought was a person his same age. Illicit photos were exchanged and then the suspects demanded money in return for not releasing those photos. The suspects allegedly told Jordan that if they didn't, if he didn't give him money, they'd release those photos and Jordan paid them $300, which wasn't the full ransom amount. Uh, and then in release net messages from law enforcement, this is what uh, went down. Jordan told one of the suspects that he was going to kill himself and the suspect replied, good, do that fast or I'll make you do it. Jordan's mom, Jennifer Buda, and dad, John DeMay, spoke briefly outside of the courtroom today. It's definitely tough to, to see them here. Um, and it seems really surreal that we're even sitting there um, going through that. It makes me feel upset that we're even sitting there. We're pretty confident that this thing is going to wrap up relatively soon. Um, it seems after even today here in the pre-trial information that might be coming down the line is it's, they have a pretty solid case it seems but you know they're going to be innocent until proven guilty and um, you know, it's, it's, um, it's difficult to see them in there but they uh, they really caused a lot of hurt to a lot of people. In court today, Samson Agoshi and Samuel Agoshi both entered pleas of not guilty. The government did, did tell the judge that they have conversations between Jordan and the brothers, as well as recordings of them admitting that they were the people who spoke with Jordan and that there are other victims. The government plans to produce this evidence at a trial. The issue of bond was adjourned until next week, Wednesday at 1030 in the morning. Michael.